concept formation. Try to edit that out. <laughs> the joke's on me, folks. He probably won't. Um, <laughs> <laughs> shit. Bingo. I hate it when I counter control myself. Uh, Is it really counter control? <laughs> Wait a minute, yeah. Anyway, concept <laughs> formation. Uh, the first thing I need you to know is a lot of us don't like the term formation, concept formation, because it seems like you're having this entity and that is a reification issue. And no, don't do that. So performing conceptual behavior is a better way to talk about concept formation. And it sounds just a little bit dirtier too, which just fits right in with our mission here at Sitecore, <laughs> make everything dirty. Um, anyway, so concept formation, uh, performing conceptual behavior. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it, it, it's a little, uh, the definitions out there are rather complex. We could make it simple. You ready? Here it is. You want to engage in conceptual formation behavior? <laughs> nope, sorry. Would you, yes. Would you like to form a concept? Would you like to do the behaviors that show that you understand a concept? Would you like to engage in those responses? All you need to do is this. Generalize within a stimulus class and discriminate between. That's all there is to it. Um, so what's a horse? Just figure out all the different types of horses. And then compare that to a dog. Identify the differences between the two and identify the similarities within. So generalization within, discrimination between. That's it.